and welcome back to another video in the TNL Tips video series. Focus on little tricks typically within Canvas, but some other areas of technology as well that can help you out if you're trying to get your class ready for the start of a quarter. Today, let's talk about the value of getting started module. Getting started module is a place to really show the students in your class the architecture of the class, how to navigate it, many of your important policies such as how students should approach discussion boards and so forth. So let's jump on Canvas now and take a look at how you might accomplish this. Okay, so as we look at the value of a getting started module, I would really say it helps to have a module like this for your class, as well as a welcome video, and I have a separate video on that, so check it out, that is going to describe you, your background, why you like teaching the subjects that you teach, your expertise, and so forth, and also will likely help students navigate the class. So check out that video as well if you want more information about creating a navigation welcome video. What I'm recommending to you today is to have a getting started with your class module. And by the way, I want to say that in Canvas Commons, if you search by LTCC, I have this downloadable for you so you can look at it to see exactly what I'm suggesting here in terms of uh, this particular class. And so it's called Getting Started Class Module Sample. You can click on that. And then if you like this, you can import it into your class. Feel free to use some of the language. This is all the language I'm going to be using. I have an opening survey and a quiz as well. And then I have a series of uh, files, which are just graphics that I use, including one on discussion threading. So use any of this if you think it's uh, applicable to your class. Just import it and then adapt it as needed. And uh, if you have any questions about that, I'll be happy to answer those. But let me show you what this is, is creating. It's creating really an opportunity to say, before you even get into any of my content in this class, I want you to have a clear understanding of my policies, of the syllabus, my rules on deadlines, my student conduct rules, how to do discussions, how to thread discussions, how to do academic writing, academic dishonesty and plagiarism, student conduct, everything else. So I set this up very deliberately. I call it getting started with whatever class it is, module. And then I filled this in with all these pages, a, a survey and a quiz. So to start off, as I mentioned, and I'm going to navigate from uh, here using the next button at the bottom, as I mentioned in that other video, I have a welcome navigation video that sets up everything about the class. It explains how to do all their work, how to negotiate the modules, how to use discussions, how to submit assignments. And I'll hit the next button to go to the next unit. This is a discussion about writing. These are my rules about writing. I have policies. I have um, things like good writing form discussions on the web that they can look at. Uh, the voice of the writing, first person versus third person, that kind of fun stuff. So this sets up very uh, quickly at the beginning of the class that I have standards on my writing assignments. And then we go to academic dishonesty and plagiarism, a short video discussing that, links to the LTCC policy, penalties, and information about how uh, plagiarism can be detected with some of our software. So a little bit of deterrence there trying to say to the students, hey, don't do it because you will be caught kind of thing. I also talk about paraphrasing and what paraphrasing involves or restating ideas in your own words. Hit the next button and you go to the next area. This is our discussions. And I have an entire video for you describing how I do discussions. I won't go over this, but it establishes my discussion policies and procedures and tips for success, along with this, which is how students should thread their discussions, also discussed in that other video for you. My student conduct rules. I have a video on student behavior that you can check out, but I'm really trying to emphasize that these are academic discussions. I'm trying to frame how conversations in a discussion board differ from those in social media. I'm also saying I will not, not tolerate um, any kind of targeting of others in the class based on characteristics. I won't tolerate slander of local officials or individuals that students might attack uh, in their class work and try to slander in their public uh, projects for their classes. So that is all very important in setting my behavior standards for the class. Then I talk about my deadlines policy. I only allow deadlines in specific cases. And as you can see, then these are all laid out here for the students to understand. And then we go into a student success. Uh, this is just a video that talks about how to be successful in the class. And I can click on this for you just so you can see it. Turn down the sound. Um, this particular one, I didn't have you know text going along with it, but it just talks about 
all the tips for success, reading the syllabus, understanding assignments and due dates, dedicate necessary time, take personal responsibility. These are just some selections. Don't make excuses and so forth. And um, you know, make learning personal and meaningful. So just some samples of what I've included. Student success, how to be successful in an online class or an anthropology class. Then they can take the getting started quiz. And then I have a survey set up, which I really recommend, which is a survey that asks them questions, including um, how do you feel about the class? What do I need to do to be successful? Do you have any ideas about staying focused in the class? And this gives me an opportunity to better understand the students and what their challenges might be at the beginning of the quarter. So that is how I use a Getting Started module in my class. I recommend one. You're welcome to download my version of this in Canvas Commons. You can also reach out to me if you have any questions about how I intend to use this in my anthropology classes. And if you consider it, I think you might find that you deal uh, up front with a lot of the issues that you sometimes have later in the quarter if you don't explain your policies and rules on things like writing, student conduct, discussion boards, plagiarism, deadlines, and that kind of stuff. Okay, that is it today here in the TNL Tips video series. Today focused on the value of having a getting started module in your Canvas class. And I'll be back with additional videos in this series shortly.